And you know, that's that's a fair thing to say. You're what's good, y'all? Back at it again with another reaction, and this time we have two legends two artists who were some of the first that i listened to when i first started listening to uk music back in 2010 in fact skepta was the first and to me hearing these artists were able to stay relevant hearing them constantly evolving their sound and doing so in a way that's authentic that to me is really exciting and that to me is the mark of what a true legend is made of but listen i don't want to hold y'all too much longer let's get it Walking the stoop, any beat, any speed, just give me something to work with. Talk about clash, I hit him where the nerve is. I don't know why I ever asked man what I'm wrong, cause I already know what the word is. Huh? Fake love got a big man like me flying around with a tool in the car, like I don't know what a bird is. International, bigger than the capital. Now the guys at the label, they wanna talk when I see them. Talking about contract, must be talking Vodafone, free cool. So what I really appreciate about hearing Skepta spit right now, and this is something that he's been doing with a lot of the tracks he's dropped this year. He's giving you the balance of degrees, but doing it in a really mature way. I said the same thing about Getz as well. But the other thing that I really like is that as he continues to experience newer and newer successes and experiences as an artist, he talks about that. Like, yeah, he may have come from a certain place, a certain background, you know, a certain set of experiences, but at this point, he's an artist. So now he's going to talk to you about his experience dumping on tracks, letting you know, yeah, that's what I'm coming from, but this is where I'm at right now, and this is how I've grown in between those times. That, to me, is a really, 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 really good indication of how much he's grown. I don't know why I ever asked man what I'm wrong Cause I already know what the word is huh? Fake love got a big man like me Flying around with a tool in the car Like I don't know what a bird is International, bigger than the capital Now the guys at the label They wanna talk when I see them Talking about contract Must be talking Vodafone Free calls on the weekend I get 10 shows trying to see free m And I speak facts Big smoke, I get the cash Then dash back to the dunya With a cheese stem It's a bit of sweet symphony They say a night for a night You die by the sword Now you can't look for the sympathy I get high so I can ease the pain But still I can never touch yay like Kimberly, I got rich and still I kept my dignity. Who the old is falling off? See Skeppy and D double. That's who they wish to be. And you know. That's that's a fair thing to say. A lot of these OG grime MCs really are having trouble sticking to their sound, but also evolving to a degree with the times. I've seen that Cuzzy try to make a comeback, and it's really a shame that people aren't talking about him because he's a really good MC. But just with the way that the sound has evolved, the people that artists are paying attention to, the people that the fans are paying attention to, it's just it's just harder to stay relevant. But people like Skepta, people like D Double, people like Gets, people like P Money, people like Big Nasty, like. They've been able to stay relevant. Bigger than me, bigger than me, bigger than me, bigger than me, me. Me. Dad, dad, over capital D. Them and another like Skepta. Them and another like Ooh, ooh. Think they get sicker than me. Had to sell my skin up to trigger her beat. Never be sicker than D. Never be sicker than Boo. Bigger than what? Bigger than me is a fake gang star with a lowercase G. You know what's interesting about the direction they're taking with this track? If they wanted to, they could make a remix to this using the exact same lines, but deliver it like in a grime way, like using it as a one-line flow. Like just, just constantly repeating it and then it's like saying it more and more aggressively. Like I could see those kinds of lines getting wheel ups, but on a different beat and with a different cadence and all of that. So again, it just goes to show how they're able to adapt their sound. Sicker than D, never be sicker than Groot. Sicker than what? Bigger than me is a fake act star with a lowercase g. You can never be sicker than go on and go on and go on I told my younger lad them skinny G. I said I put that big Mac 10 inside them skinny G. Still for the thing and beat it, Michael Jackson, B. Do the thing then quickly fly up to the Philippines. Helicopter, man got around cause helicopter. Under the bridge cause helicopter. Under the tree cause helicopter. Try to get away from the heat sensor. Man, I got good through Marks and Spencer. And look at the heat with the red laser. Under the old school mosh blazer. Boy, them when they come with the handcuff to the boy, them when they come with the taser. Get rid of that, I'm a D razor. Lifesaver, you're gonna need a fundraiser when I start moving like a razor. Carry on thinking, I'm a gazer. Pray to the Lord and Savior. Bigger than me. Bigger than me. Bigger than me. Bigger than me. 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 Dad, dad, over capital D. Them and another like Skepta. Them and another like. 
And what's interesting is that this song is called Don, right? And he's saying Don Dada. But if I recall, if I recall correctly, the name of the project is also Double or Nothing. So if that is on purpose, that's interesting. Wonder who produced this. I wouldn't doubt that it was Skepta, but I also wouldn't doubt that it's somebody else. This is calm. This is calm. So in this channel we hold the vowels, that means we're gonna get straight into it and this one gets a 9.25. Now we know who's on this track, we know that they're legends, we know the kind of caliber of music that they're gonna be bringing to a track. So you know what, it really shouldn't surprise you that this one gets such a high rating for the flows. These are seasoned veterans in the game, they have dumped on more tracks than any of us can count, they've experimented with way too many flows, so it's like... Come on, they could jump on any kind of beat at this point. You know they're gonna ride that beat perfectly. The one thing I will say though is that I do feel like it was a little bit of an underwhelming flow, but the flow matched the overall tone of the song. So that's the reason why it's not getting a perfect 10. It wasn't super duper exciting, but you can't listen to what they were doing and not be like, yeah, they were dumping. But it wasn't enough to make me like super excited to the point where I wanted to like smash my space bar and run it back and all of that. But I could listen to it and I can acknowledge that this was fire. I feel similarly about the beat as well. The beat really wasn't the kind of beat that I like listening to like these days. I feel like because of drill, I do have a slightly different audio palette. But this one did take me back to those grime days, giving you those more grittier sounds while still giving you those kind of what may feel out of place when we're talking about gritty music, right? In terms of the elements that they're using, some of those sounds in the background are just like, what are you doing putting that on a track talking about what you're talking about so it really did take me back to that place i also kind of like how the way that the beat was a little bit underwhelming it really accentuated everything else that they were saying on it in a weird way i don't know exactly what it is like i like how the bass was really like a super big focal point on this one and not so much everything else at least that's the way that it's feeling when i'm listening to it in my head right now that was the way that the song made me feel and i think it was a really good approach now lyrically come on she come as no surprise perfect ten. These are MCs with enough experience. They have enough things to talk about. They can give you whatever it is you want to hear. And the fact that they're able to do so at their age and at their stage in the game and still not making it sound too forced to the point where it's like, all right, come on, man. Why are you still doing talking about that? Like, they're doing it in a way that you can appreciate the fact that that may be the kind of experiences that they're coming from, but packaging it in like a really more rap-oriented way than a street-oriented way, if that makes sense. Now, the reason why the replay value is the lowest score in this one is because I do feel like this isn't the kind of song that I would really seek out to play. Maybe I might tell somebody about it, like somebody who's like familiar with these artists and say, oh yeah, make sure you check out that collab. But it just really isn't a song that gets me excited to want to play it over. But what I do think is that if this is on a project, it's one of those tracks that if it's placed properly and it's transitioned in and out of just the right way, it can really complement the tone around it, especially again, if the whole project is catered towards it. But yeah, I don't really have too much more to say about this one. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below and hang tight for some more reactions because I do got more of those coming for y'all. But until next time, peace.